Better get dressed, you're gonna be late for school. Do you want your breakfast? I don't feel very well. I've been throwing up. So don't try on with my sofa. I'm not in the mood. I'm not. I think it's just time of the month. All right. I'll try a couple of aspirin. Uh, I didn't mean to shout at you. I'm sorry. I know you wouldn't try and scare off. I'm just having a, a moody Monday. Just like you see your sister. Look, you go back to bed. I'll bring your brew up. Come here. Right, Mrs. Stape. I think that's me ready. Oh, so I can still be Mrs. Stape, can I? Not Mrs. Fishwick. Don't be daft. It's not daft. As far as your mate Brian's concerned, I am Mrs. Fishwick. As far as Brian's concerned, you're Fizz. Yeah, Fizz. Fishwick. You couldn't make it up. Sounds like a washerwoman from a Dickens novel. This isn't funny, John. What if Julie had yelled through Aya, John, when Brian was here? What happens if we're out with mates in town and we bump into one of your pupils and they're all like, you're right, Mr Fishwick? I know that there are a few details that need ironing out. <laughs> you reckon? But I'll iron them out. You know how important this is to me, teaching again. But what happens next time he decides to pop round? You taste a raspberry jam. Oh, really? Mm. That's funny, because I'm eating Marmite. Are you going to wish me luck for my first day? Why? Do you think you're going to need it? Fizz. Good luck. I'll give you a call dinner time. to tell him about the adoption before he goes back. Have you not done baked beans? Never mind baked beans. We'll talk about it later. Morning, love. I've done your nice proper brekkie. Mum, the army do feed us, you know. Mm, not like home cooking, though, is it? Set me up right good and proper for a good hard day's graft. There's... What's that on your backside in the taxi? It's busy physical work driving. Working the pedals, indicators on and off. It's like a mini workout. Yeah, but as mini as a workout can get. Hey. Less of your cheek, you. Just cos you're in the army doesn't mean I can't give you a thick ear. You know, they taught me to permanently disable a man. Using just this. What do you do with it? You don't want to know. Stop winding your dad up. And he took you. You take him into fresh goals before you start work. I want to get some bits for Gary to take back with him. Fresh goals? We'll get the bus man can we? Make the most of what time we got left, yeah? Oh, you're a thoughtful lad. You know, we're so proud of you, aren't we, Eddie? Oh. Standing on your own two feet, making a proper career for yourself. That kind of proud tradition of generations of windows, men. And doing the exact opposite. Huh. Got a brew? I'm fine. Oh, come on, mate. How long are you going to keep this up? Look, you don't want to be my business partner, so don't pretend like you want to be my mate. I can make me own tea. Hi. Oh. You've not forgotten about my dad's birth to do tonight, have you? No, of course not. I'm looking forward to it. You couldn't sort out his present. Dev's got me working through dinner, so I'm not going to have a chance to pop into town. Oh, I can't, babe. We're backed up with jobs, and I've still got to service our car before we go. Well, that's OK. The car's more important. He'll have to uh, make do with a bottle of whiskey from the shop. You can't just give him a bottle of whiskey. I'll service your car for you if you want. No, you're all right. Oh, come on, you know I'm no good at sorries and all that. Let me mend your car. I'll do it in my dinner hour. Yeah, that'd be a big help. Cheers. Oh, no worries. See you later. Mm -hmm. Bye. Thanks for that, Kev. Not a problem. And, uh, I will have a brew if it's still going. Don't push it. Sure, everything's okay, Julie. Of course, why wouldn't it be? Well, only you've hardly spoken two words to me this morning. Oh, what have I got to talk about? It's not like I did anything special this weekend. Met anybody interesting? Oh, look, I'm sorry I never invited you in. I was that bored, sat at home on my own, that I nearly went next door to see Martin and Joyce. I mean, they're in very good nick for a couple in their 70s, but she's deaf and he's only half a lump to them. Conversation never really flows. It's not easy being a singleton, is it, love, eh? Sat on your own, looking through the channels, toying with the fruit corner. We've all been there. Where are you still are? Do you mind? I'm only trying to help. What are you doing in here, anyway? I'm bleaching the mugs. I need the bleach in yours, if you like. I mean, I'd understand if you and John were having a cosy night in, but that fella was there. 
And he sounded really good looking from his tone of voice. I thought I might have a nice evening on the cards. Oh, Julie, I'm sorry. But it was John's boss from work. We were trying to get rid of him, see? So I thought if I invite you in, then we're all going to start chatting. You should have tipped me the wink. I could have come in, laid the foundations conversation-wise, and then suggested him and me went down the pub. Job done. Oh, he's married, love. It's never stopped me. Are you still here? No, I left about ten minutes ago, but I shall be back in a bit. Why don't you come round to ask for your tea tonight, eh? Oh, I don't want to be in the way. Oh, you won't be. Come on. And then we can try and have a think if there's any eligible men going begging. Hmm? <laughs> I've got nothing to say to you. Oh, we can't carry on like this. We're not carrying on like anything. Isn't that what you wanted? <laughs> Turn on just met the godfather to your baby. What a joke. If you drop the god part, it might be close to the mark. We don't know that for sure. Oh, stop kidding yourself. The odds ain't great, are they? Look, if you've come in here to guilt trip me or start shouting, forget it. I've come in here hoping you might have come to your senses. I promise you, you have this baby, you'll regret it. I'm not getting rid of this baby. Do you hear me? I can feel him growing inside me. Alive. I'd rather stand in the middle of the street naked and tell everyone what a lying, cheating cow I've been than let any harm come to him. Now get lost. Go on! Get out! What's happened? I hate it. I hate it. Call me. Shh, 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 shh. I'm here now. Just tell me what's happened, eh? Shh. <laughs> I still say we should have got you some of that aloe vera body wash. You know how sensitive your skin is? Yeah, it'd be a lot more sensitive if the lads caught me in the showers with aloe vera body wash. <laughs> Not got your army togs on, Gaza. Shame. I like a man in uniform or out of it. That's my son you're leering at. Focus your fetish fantasies somewhere else. He's a big boy, love. I'm sure he can handle it. Oh, oh come on, man. She really knows the tone, that one. Like it, you lady of the mother. <laughs> I bet you and Quinny have lots of girls after you when you go out of an evening. Some. You've still not had said anything about your other mates there. Or what your teachers are like. All right. Go on, then. What? We'll make some crack about me mum. Like, Gail in jail or she had a tattoo yet. I won't wish what's happened to your family on my worst enemy, mate. Are you taking the mic? No, he's not. Must be awful. Don't know how I'd cope, but give her our best, yeah? Tell her that we don't believe a word of it. Yeah? Yeah, all right then. In a bit, yeah? Nice to meet Fizz on Friday. <laughs> we'll have to do it again someday. Yeah. Do you know, to read the paper, you'd think every secondary school kid had a, a knife in his back pocket, a bottle of vodka in his bag, and a tube of glue at one nostril. <laughs> Whoa, don't run, Johnson! You don't have that kind of problem here, then. Oh, don't get me wrong. I mean, I've confiscated that much booze off the premises. I could open up a branch of odd bins for my store food. <laughs> Still, comes in handy for the teachers and the term do. At least with six formers, you know they're here by choice. <laughs> Lucy, Kirsty, Josh, Jed. This is your new English teacher, Mr. Fishwick. Hi. Sounds like something out of Dickens. I mean, you're not the first to say that. Just call me Colin. Oh, which one of those? <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, if any of you got a free period, could you show Colin round the sixth form block? Yeah, I don't mind. Thank you, Lucy. I've got a meeting with family services. One of our year tens had a particularly original excuse as not to hand in his homework. <laughs> Out on a burglary with his dad, apparently. <laughs> I'm just so glad we're making a difference. <laughs> Is he serious? Yeah, you never really know with Bri. He's a bit of a joker. Plus, things are pretty rocky for him at home at the moment. How do you know that? Well, he's got a storeroom full of booze and he gets a bit chatty when he's had a few. <laughs> now I think you're winding me up. <laughs> <laughs> so, you've had the official tour from Bry. Mm hmm Now do you want the Watson and all version from me? You're going to get me into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell do you think you're... 
playing at. Hey. I've just had to turn the sign over for half an hour so Molly could get hold of herself. Look, whatever she told you, I'm just trying to make her see sense. What, by persuading her to kill a baby? You've already damn near destroyed her marriage. I'm just trying to protect everyone. Oh, trying to protect yourself, more like. Tied on too. Is a mate of mine. That really doesn't deserve a response. And what if your mate Tyrone had come into the shop just now instead of me, eh? Or Sally, or one of the girls? To see you and Molly screaming at each other? How'd you explain that one away? I didn't think she'd go off like that. You didn't think full stop. Now I'm warning you. You keep away from her. As far as you're concerned, that baby is Tyrone's. All you have to do is keep smiling and be happy for them. Why, you mean? That shouldn't be a problem. You've had enough practice. <laughs> Not well enough to go to school, but all right to wander the streets. Dad, we're out of milk. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Hey, what's wrong? <laughs> hey, come on, come on, come on. Let's get you home. <laughs> I don't know where them two get off. Looking down the noses at me. Are oh, they okay, Fizz and Julie? Snotty cows. Looking at me like I'm something they'd scrape off the shoes. One of them's married to a kidnapper stroke pervert, and the other one's dad was a pedo. And I'm persona non grazia. It's not to make you heave. Hey! Someone's lost a mobile phone. Oh, great, I could do with a new one. Hey! This phone goes back to his rightful owner. What are we daft? No one expects to get a phone back these days. Can you get into it? No, it's locked. But look, I'll check the cab log later on, see if we can work out whose it might be. Oh, I'm not sure we should tell him now. I don't want him going back all confused. That's our Gary sandwiches. I don't know why you're buying him all this fancy stuff. It's not like he's going to war, I don't. Look, are we going to tell him about us wanting to adopt or not? Yeah, if you like. Oh, well, the emotional roller coaster of it's obviously tearing you apart. Oh, let me handle it, yeah. I want to break it to you. I've done you some sandwiches, love. I'll, I'll just pack them up for you, shall I? Yeah, nice one, cheers. Do, do you want to have a cup of tea before you go? Yeah. Some bird you're trying to swerve, mate. Uh, yeah, yeah. Me and your dad want to adopt. Is that you breaking it to him gently? Adopt? Who? Oh, well, we don't know yet. I mean, we're not there yet. It's a process, but we're not bothered. I mean, of course we're bothered, but, like, we don't want a baby like everyone's after. We don't mind if they're older and that. Disturbed. Not not disturbed. That's the wrong word. What are you going on about, woman? What she's trying to tell you is, will you fly in the nest? Your mum reckons we could give a good home to some kiddie what needs it. We're not after a baby, I don't. Just some kiddie, maybe eight, nine, ten, something like that, what's had a rotten start and could maybe do with something a bit better. You have a lovely way of expressing yourself sometimes. You're like a younger Bamba Gascoigne. <laughs> Look, it might not happen yet, but we're giving it a go. You don't mind, do you, son? Of course I don't mind. Look, I think you'd be great. I turned out OK, didn't I? Eventually. Oh, come here. <laughs> oh, I can't believe how the army's changed you. Like the way you were with David this morning. Dead mature. You're like a different lad. Right, come on, if you're going. You know, Pam has always thought that me and your dad have been rotten parents, but seeing you change these last few months, the man you've grown into. Come on, Mum, don't upset yourself, yeah? Sorry, right. Come on, better get going. Don't want you getting into trouble. You off then? Yeah, so, uh. Good luck with your mum and that. Yeah, um. Listen, maybe when you get back, you know, we could have a beer or something. Yeah, cool. All right, see you later. It's like in a Western where the two sworn enemies who always come to blows finally smoke the peace pipe. Well, this wagon train's ready to roll, so if you don't mind. Right, behave you. And call me lots. Yeah.
Soph, I'm going back across the galleys now if you're feeling better. Soph. Yeah, okay. You've been sick again? No. Oh, well, when you said this morning, you. The raspberry mustard on the trip. I'm not even ill. You just you know when you feel like you've proper fallen for someone and you can't stop thinking about it. And they're just not interested. What do you mean? <laughs> hey, you're not talking about Ben, are you? Oh, come on. Come and sit down, please, sir. <laughs> hey? <laughs> this isn't like you. Yeah, I know. I thought of it because he's always putting that plant pot on top of his head doing them impersonations. <laughs> it's a way I tell him. It's a cracker. <laughs> no, I don't think that's... Should I go and get changed and we'll get going? Um, yeah, yes. Yeah. Can I finish the car? Looks like it. It's parked outside the garage, ready to go. See you in a bit. Well, that's great. I'll have to pass it on to her. She'll be dead grateful. No, just give us the address. I'll pop it round for you. Save the trouble. Oh, it's all right. It's no trouble. You see, uh, the thing is, uh, we're not supposed to give lost property back to anyone except the rightful owner. Oh, is that right? Yeah, it's a company policy. Hmm. Even though you know she's me mate? Yeah, but if I bend the rules for you, so, you know, just give us the address. Oh, can't. Company policy. You see, if I give out the address of my spectacularly good-looking mate to any bloke who asks, well, you can see me probably. Leanne. If I bend the rules for you. Right, fine. I'll find her myself. serious was it this row Brian had with his wife? Julie, we barely know him. And doesn't the word wife indicate that he might not be available? A fortune favours the bold. I will always be single if I just sit at home waiting for Mr Wright to come banging on me knocker. <laughs> You'll meet someone. But will I? There's no one round here with a second look, is there? Mm. But he's done in a new job. Yeah, he's not running a dating service. No, but it's a big firm. You said this furniture place. Must be lots of great big strapping fellas there. Well, he works in the office. Yeah, but he'll know the warehouse lads, won't he? Oh, they're bound to be fighting fit them. Size of some of the sofas you see these days. Uh... Oh, and Rochdale too. New stamping ground for us. Hey, we could meet John and his mates one night after work. Uh... Oh, I'm going to go on the interweb later, see what the nightlife's like. The lad dropped off. How about we pop over to the pub for a few scoops? Quiet. Yeah. Of course I will. I still reckon there must be some kind of mix-up or something. Yeah, on this number. Yeah, OK. Bye. What's up, love? That was Gary Sergeant Major from the base. They reckon he's AWOL. Hey, he's on leave. I just put him on the train. No, Eddie, that's it. He's never had leave. He's been missing since Friday. Oh. He's in real trouble. We're not due for another couple of hours. Which is all part of my cunning plan. Hey? Well, I've got a little surprise up my sleeve for you on the way there. What? What sort of surprise would it be if I told you? Oh, go on. Give us a clue. <laughs> I'll get the keys. You sure you'll be all right, love? Yeah. Look, I'm sorry about before. It's in a bit of a weird mood, that's how. That won't be long. Tyrone just needs his car doing. And I'm only halfway through finishing his brakes. I'll be fine. Right. Let's whack some tunes on them, babe. We'll be back in Coronation Street at 8.30.